Apprentices are all idiots. I wanted to thank you again for getting me out of Mephala's realm. It wasn't anything like I originally imagined. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that I was able to repair the Dawnbreaker. No thanks to the Sigic healers. I thought they were going to slice me open to try to figure out what makes me... Well, me. This might sound like a strange question. In fact, depending on how you answer it, it is a strange question. Do you... Do you remember me? I'm not talking about here in Somerset. I mean, from someplace else. Yeah, it was terrible. One moment I'm fighting Molog Ball, and the next I'm stuck in the colored rooms without any kind of explanation. I tried everything I could think of to get out of there, but nothing worked until Meridia gave me this mission. I thought I did. After the big flash of light, I remember floating. Then there was more light. Meridia was there. She told me I was in her realm. Oh yeah, she said I was supposed to help you stop the Daedric Princes to keep them from reaching the Crystal Tower. Problem is, she didn't tell me how we were supposed to do that, and now I can't seem to reach her. I hate to admit it, but I'm worried. Fixing the Dawnbreaker was surprisingly easy, by the way. Especially questions? Not like a test or anything, though, right? Tests give me a rash. Being in the colored rooms was fun at first. Those golden saints were pleasant to look at. Their personalities leave a lot to be desired, though. I ask myself that question every day. Meridia said I had a purpose, but she refused to elaborate. She said I'd recognize it when the time was right. Help you? She talked about you a lot, as a matter of fact. We've already stopped one Daedric Prince together, right? How hard can it be to stop three? I wish I knew the answer to that. I remember my father well enough. He was a Breton, but I never met my mother. In fact, now that I think about it, my entire childhood is kind of a blur. Meridia only ever told me I was her vessel. I can't say I remember volunteering for that job, though. Who I am, what I am, why the amazing good looks and roguish charm if I'm just here to stomp on Meridia's enemies. We're as prepared as we can be without knowing exactly where this pathway leads. I've even set wards that will help protect me from the Daedric Princes. The Golden Knight must wield the reforged Dawnbreaker to breach the barrier. Then we simply step through the portal and see where it takes us. Sir Darian, deal with this barrier, if you please. My pleasure. The way is open. Let's go. I'll be all right, Balsarin. I expected the pathway to lead to some obscure corner of oblivion, but this is Nocturnal's realm. I wish I could remember what compelled me to hide the heart here. The heart is here. I'm positive. Now that I think about it, this location has a familiar feel. I've been here before. Take Darian and scout the path ahead. Look for any signs that might indicate where I hid the heart. Be prepared for anything. This is Nocturnal's realm, after all. Ha!
Nocturnal's minions aren't exactly modest, are they? Not that I'm complaining. one walks the path once more but where is the pretty crystal he carried last time ah, ah! did that bird just talk you heard that right pay the crows no mind nothing but an annoyance the crows serve as nocturnal's eyes she watches us through these annoying little creatures i remember carrying the heart of transparent law along this path and up toward the mountain above I remember Nocturnal's creatures moved aside to let me pass. Obviously, they aren't as accommodating as last time I was here. I don't see any alternative, do you? Remind me to wear lighter armor next time we have to climb a mountain. Nonsense is this? He doesn't remember! So desperate he was, he leaped at our mistress's offer! Ah! Speak plainly, crows! The crows. Their words stir the echoes in my mind. I remember fighting the sea slow's compulsion with every fiber of my being. And I was losing. I remember Nocturnal appearing before me offering to help me hide the heart away in a place that no one would ever find it. Then, let's keep going.
Be ready for anything. path ends here. I remember this. But Jesus, what are you saying? I'm saying I remember taking the heart through that portal. With every step along this path, my memory grew clearer. Nocturnal offered me a spell that would hide the heart from everyone. The sea slowed, nocturnal, even from me. I assume so. Some of the details still elude me. I remember entering the portal with the heart, then returning here without it in my hands. My preparations included numerous wards of protection. They should allow me to resist even the magic of a Daedric Prince, at least for a short amount of time. Step cautiously. I remember very little about... the words, but I don't know exactly what they mean. My friends, the heart of transparent law will soon be back in our hands. Heart, reveal yourself. Ganoro Beren. Your chest, it's glowing. Ijavil. Of course. I put the heart inside myself. It was the perfect hiding place. Look, Mephala. The mortal hid the heart inside his own body. How clever. Uh-oh. Mephala and Clavicus Vile. This could be bad. But why did Nocturnal keep this from us? No matter. I'll take the crystal now, right, Master? Uh, my wards shall protect me. Impressive for a mortal. But the wards won't hold long against our power. Tell me when to unleash Dawnbreaker's power. Stop struggling, mortal. You're only delaying the inevitable. Fight, I cases. Just hold on. Dawnbreaker is ready. Just give the command.
these Daedra keep coming from? Dawnbreaker is ready. Just give the command. Promise me, you'll lead him. If... Don't even say it, Hykesis! Just keep fighting! Dawnbreaker is ready! Just give the command! belongs to me. We made a deal, didn't we, mortal? I cases? I did what I had to. I hid the heart, even from you. The only way to retrieve it is to kill me. <laughs> Very well. I accept those terms. No! We need to go. Now! <laughs> Out of here. Dawnbreaker will protect us. I hope. Meridia's vessel. You have no power here. I'll show you power, you monster. The sword of light. I'll take that. My sword! I just fixed that! The heart is mine, and soon the crystal tower will belong to me. I no longer need Mafala or Vile. Hold on! I'm getting us out of here! Nocturnal killed him. We couldn't stop her. This doesn't make any sense. What happened to the Right Master? I don't believe it. The Right Master, Aikesis, he's the best of us. I knew he was remembering things. But I had no idea he was so desperate to make a deal with a Daedric prince, even to foil the sea load. That was just foolish. Nocturnal betrayed the other princes? That's... actually, that's rather typical from what I've read. Without the heart, without the right master, what are we supposed to do now? 
I'm not sure there is another way. With the Heart of Transparent Law, Nocturnal can control the Crystal Tower. And with the Crystal Tower, she can... Well, I'm not sure why she wants the Tower. Grief does us no good unless we use it to focus our commitment. We need to rally our forces. Sotha Seal said he had information meant only for Rightmaster Aikisis' ears. He asked me to send the right master to see him when he returned from traveling the Dreaming Cave. We also need to convince Sotha Seal to share the news he brought with us. But without the right master, he may decide to simply depart. We need to rally our forces, my friend. How unusual. The right master has kept me waiting for an inordinate amount of time. But instead of Aikesis, here comes the savior of the Clockwork City. That is unfortunate. I enjoyed my infrequent talks with Aikesis. Ah, well. Now, if you don't mind, I have preparations to make before I take my leave. I am and I did. But the right master is no longer in a position to receive that information. Now, once again, I ask. A demand? Interesting. Your assumption is correct. Nocturnal's true purpose in invading my realm was to steal my secret for utilizing life energy as a power source. I suspect she plans to use my technique to amplify the Crystal Tower. The Crystal Tower exists on multiple planes of reality, simultaneously, and possesses capabilities we do not fully understand. We must assume that Nocturnal's options are infinite. I find it hard to believe that Nocturnal, Mephala, and Vile worked together for as long as they did. Daedric Princes aren't known for their willingness to share. Transparent Law. The crystal at the top of the Crystal Tower anchors its metaphysical structure to all realities. The Tower straddles every reality. Its true purpose remains lost to time, but I theorize it was created as a watchtower of sorts, a doorway to everywhere. Imagine a Daedric Prince who can exert influence throughout the multiverse at the exact same moment in time. Nocturnal could become infinite, if she... You need to go to Valster and study right now. There's a problem. He's really... tall. Knight of Meridia, stay and talk with me. Valserin, stop! You're going to kill him! Ugh, fine! Let our friend finish the interrogation! This is ridiculous. I had no wish to see Aikesis harmed. He was my friend. He tried to save my daughter. What are you talking about? Nocturnal, Methala, and Clavicus Vile are partners in this. That's why our three sects formed the Court of Bedlam. No, that can't be right. Why would she betray the Triad like that? Unless... You must let me leave, Arteum. I need to contact my prince. Look, you have to let me return to Somerset and warn my prince. Let me go, and I'll convince Mathala to help you. You're going to need my prince if you really plan to take on Nocturnal 
and the Crystal Tower. Do we really need to go over this again? Mathala and the Triad sought places of power, the Clockwork City, the Crystal Tower, anything they could use to change the rules of reality and remake the world. I still only have your word that my prince has been betrayed. But I'll play along. Daedric princes aren't used to working together. I was under the assumption that the Triad needed to work together to take control of the Crystal Tower. That was always my understanding. The Crystal Tower has its own protections, though we know those have been weakened with the removal of the Heart of Transparent Law. Still, we tried to acquire the Resolute Diamonds, the Sapiarch's keys to the tower. I didn't say that. Nocturnal has the Heart, and her power as a Daedric Prince. It won't be easy, but she'll be able to enter the Crystal Tower. You, on the other hand, We'll need help, which brings me back to my offer. Make an alliance with my prince. What court of Bedlam? You dealt with Clavicus Vile's Earl, and I'm your prisoner. The court is in shambles, just like the Triad, if what you say is to be believed. But beware Nocturnal's champion. Her Earl won't fall as easily as Tilcolor or I. Lathan is a shell of the man I fell in love with. We can't trust anything he says. No, we have to deal with this ourselves. Just another horrible bit of news in an otherwise horrible situation. All the more reason for us to get to the Crystal Tower. Last I heard, the Sapiarchs were attempting to rapidly attune two new Tower Sentinels. We need to see if they succeeded. Likely at the Crystal Tower Gatehouse, northeast of Lilandril. The ritual usually requires a full year and a day to complete, but the Sapiarchs reluctantly agreed to try to speed up the process. Oriandra, tell Darian to meet us at the Crystal Tower Gatehouse, and keep an eye on Lathan while we're gone. <laughs>